Continuing our coverage, a statewide call to action to help Ukrainians in the fight against Russia. New Science Mayo Davison in studio for us tonight. Tell us more about the efforts underway locally. Mayo. Well, Rob, Governor Polis is asking law enforcement agencies across our state to donate their surplus body armor and ballistic helmets by 3 p.m. Monday. And many of them are planning to help out. Monument police are getting to work. Gathering up old body armor and ballistic helmets to help make a difference in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. What we're looking to give is level three vest, uh, which is capable of stopping uh, rifles. We're going to be giving helmets uh, and then we'll be giving some level two vests as well. While they may be expired, Monument Chief of Police Sean Hemingway says they're still able to save lives. We try to destroy it. That's not always easy. But this, this initiative will uh, allow us to get rid of it, but also see it in good hands. Hemingway says they wanted to help any way they could. They were saving a, a life of a Ukrainian soldier who's fighting a, uh, a regime right now uh, to save their freedom. But also, we don't know if our allies are going to end up right next to the Ukrainian soldiers tomorrow. Another agency lending their surplus of equipment is the Colorado Springs Police Department. We had about 200 vests that were going to be destroyed. However, now we're, we're going to be able to donate them. Lieutenant James Sokolik says they'll be able to stop a nine millimeter round. They'll also be donating 30 or 40 expired partial medical kits. It's not costing the citizens of Colorado or Colorado Springs any items. This is items that were, at least for the items that we're providing, these are items that were slated for destruction. Soklik says he's glad to see the body armor put to good use and help Ukrainians fighting for their freedom. To ensure that all materials meet safety standards, donations are only being accepted from law enforcement agencies and not from the general public. Rob? Mayo, thanks. Now